My name is Renzi Feliz and I will be reading The Peacock and the Crane. There once was a king in a far off land who had a magnificent palace, but his pride and joy were his stunning gardens full of exotic trees and hedges, pretty fountains and quaint little mazes. Roaming around the palace gardens were graceful deer, while majestic swans and beautiful ducks drifted on its legs. But of all the animals that lived in the palace gardens, surely the most glorious was the king's peacock. Unfortunately, the peacock knew this too. Hello, dear, the peacock greeted them as he strutted across the grass, dragging his long tail feathers behind him. Hello, peacock, the deer replied, knowing what question was going to come next. Who do you think is the most beautiful creature in the king's garden, the peacock asked, holding high his silvery blue neck and making his crown feathers stand up proudly on his head. Now the deer were themselves beautiful creatures with huge eyes and pretty spots, but they simply could not compare to the peacock. You are the most beautiful peacock, the deer all replied humbly. Just as I thought, said the peacock, and he swept off to find another creature so he could ask exactly the same question. The swans gliding gracefully across the lake were also very beautiful, with proud necks and pure white feathers gleaming in the sun. The same was true of the ducks. The king had specifically chosen this exotic breed with orange tail feathers and a lovely blush on their cheeks, but again, they could not compare to the peacock. You are the most beautiful peacock, the swans and ducks all admitted as the peacock asked the same question of each and every one of them. Peacock smiled as he strutted around the palace gardens. How he loved to hear that answer. If any of the other animals hesitated for a moment, the peacock would quickly convince them by his favorite trick. He would suddenly raise his tail feathers to produce a huge, magnificent fan covered with shimmering blue and green spots. Faced with this stunning display, how could anyone deny that he was the most beautiful creature of all? One day, Peacock noticed that the king had added a new animal to the palace gardens. It was a large wading bird standing meekly at the edge of the lake. The peacock scoffed at the sight of this new arrival. It was the plainest creature he had ever seen with dull gray feathers and lanky legs. What are you? asked the peacock as he swept gracefully up to the gray newcomer. I'm a crane, the other replied. Is that so? asked the peacock, rudely looking him up and down. Are you proud of being a crane? Oh, yes, he replied confidently. Now this annoyed peacock. How could anyone looking as dull as that be so proud? Right away, the peacock asked his usual question. Who do you think is the most beautiful creature in the palace gardens? Hmm. I'm not sure, said the crane. I haven't met everyone yet. The peacock was more annoyed than ever. How was this dull creature likely to meet someone more beautiful than him? So he did his usual trick, only this time, he not only raised his tail feathers to produce a glorious blue and green fan, he also slowly turned this magnificent fan to the left and to the right. Now, who do you think is the most beautiful creature in the palace gardens? The peacock taunted. Now the crane was dazzled by the magnificent sight before him. Well, it would surely be you, the crane said. At last, you finally opened your eyes, jeered the peacock. But beauty is in everything, asked the crane, added the crane. What? screeched the peacock in disbelief. You mean you don't want to look like me? You would rather be a plain, dull crane? Well, yes, my feathers are rather plain and dull, the crane admitted, but they serve me well, giving me a lot of pleasure. And to demonstrate, the crane opened his wings and took gracefully to the air. He flew all around the palace gardens, high above them all. You see, your feathers might be beautiful, the crane called down, but that's all they are, just for show. They can't make you fly and see all the wonderful things I can see. The peacock enviously watched the crane circling high above, as happy as could be. That dull gray bird was right. Beauty isn't everything, and there are a lot of other things that are important too. Peacock decided that he would never boast again. The end.